Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create captions using HitFilm. Now, personally, I think captions are really important. Sometimes I prefer to watch videos without the audio. I can just read the caption and I can understand what the video is all about. So in this video, we are going to create captions using HitFilm. I have an example over here. I have a clip of Dr. Andrew Huberman and uh, he's talking about what happens to your body when you eat something sweet. I have tremendously benefited from his podcast. I leave a link in the description if you're interested. I highly recommend you check out his podcast if you if you care about your health. So I took one of his YouTube shots and it didn't have any captions to it. So I added uh, captions. So let's just play. And what's really interesting is that for hundreds of years, people have thought that that's because right. So that was a basic uh, animation. So I'm going to show you how you can create uh, such kind of captions using HitFilm. I'm going to select all of these text layers and I'm just going to put it right over here. So we're going to start off by adding in our text. So click on this text over here, click on this icon and you can just click anywhere and start typing your text. So in my case, the very first word is A N D and and then I'm just going to quickly go to the text tab over here and you won't have outline. So yours will be without the outline by default and the color will be set to white. It will look something like this. So you have to just add an outline by default it will add a red outline so you can click on this color box and set this to black and click on ok then you can change the width to six or any other value that you prefer and we're going to make sure that we place it properly so just look at your waveform at the bottom and you can just notice where it starts it starts right over here make sure your playhead is at that frame and then you can just snap it to that point if the snapping is not working then chances are you have turned it off so just click on this icon snapping make sure it is on and then it will snap into place now you might be wondering why my layers look like this as because if you go to tracks you can change the video size i have set mine to small and the audio size track is set to medium so there is my first word and now i can just make sure that it is in the center so first off in the paragraph we're going to set this to a center alignment and then in the layout we can click on this icon that says align horizontal center if you want it to be dead center then you have to click on this icon as well but uh, i don't want it to be in the center i just wanted it to be at the bottom so i'm going to undo this and then you just have to go ahead and listen to the next word and what's really so this is going to be my next word over here move your timeline to that frame split the clip and then using the selection tool you can just double click inside and control a to select the text and type in the second word like so and then you repeat the process for other layers what's really interesting so this is going to be my third word double click type in the third word and then you have to exit out of this really interesting so this is going to be my next word make sure you select it and type in your next word so since this process is going to be repetitive i'm just going to fast forward this bit and i'll be back when i finish adding all the text all right so i have added my text and i'm just going to skip this section over here I don't think I need to do that. Uh, so I'm going to keep this tutorial really short. So I'll just slip, split all of that and you can select and delete the extra bit like so. All right. So if you take a look at it, this is what we have. And what's really interesting is that for. Okay. So that's a pretty simple caption. And what's really interesting. If you want to emphasize any important word, you can select uh, that text and in the text tab, you can change its color so that it stands out from rest of the text right so i'm just going to end, undo this and you can also uh, apply different effects such as uh, you can apply glow to it and set the blend to normal it looks really cool and if you want to apply drop shadow you can also do that search for drop shadow and apply to your text you can see the drop shadow in action uh, set the opacity to one and you can also increase the penumbra value if you want to have a softer looking shadow all right so if you want to add drop shadow at once then you can select all of your text layers and just drag in the drop shadow 
and it will be applied on all of these layers as you can see but then you have to go through each and every layer and change the uh, drop shadow for every setting now what you can do instead is you can just undo what we have done so far let's just remove all the drop shadow you can select uh, the drop shadow effect and apply it on just single layer i'm going to apply it to the very first layer and then increase the opacity and the penumbra value and now what you can do is copy this drop, drop shadow effect and then you can select all of the other layers and hit control v and now this drop shadow will be applied on all of these what's layers. really interesting is that for okay cool um so let's just undo everything and i'm just going to remove the drop shadow from here the next thing is i'm going to create another interesting looking uh, caption so for that i'm just going to move all of this uh, into the separate video tracks like so now what i'm going to do is select this uh, text over here and i'm going to hold the control key and just drag it down so we have an exact copy of it just stretch it out like so make sure you select this layer and then you with the text tool you have to type in your text so i'm going to type in the entire sentence so whatever the audio says i'm just going to type that in so just make sure you select your text layer properly make sure the bottom text layer is selected and start typing your text cool so once you have it then you can just make sure you align it correctly like so and then i'm going to select my very first word over here which says and i'm going to go to the text tab over here and change the color to yellow or any other color that you want i'm going to zoom in and just place it on top of the very first word over here something like that and just try and be precise with the positioning and you do the same thing with all these layers that we have over here so i'm going to change the color and then change the position make sure it is right on top like so and just repeat this process for other text layers all right so i'm just going to go ahead and split these layers furthermore so you can see that this word is in just one layer so i'm just going to go to that frame and split the layer like so and this will be in a separate track like that so this word is going to say is make sure the color is set to yellow and put it right on top of that word and do this for other text layers as well so the next word is that and change the color and just position it on top of that word all right so now if you take a look at your animation you will have something like this and what's really interesting is that for cool that looks really great you can see we have this word by word and animation really interesting is that kind of popular uh, effect as well for the captions and uh, yeah we can use that as well so now what we can do is we can create some animations to our text so let's select our main text which is at the bottom and i can just go to the transform over here and create a keyframe on scale and then i'm going to set the scale to uh, let's do 80 and then i'm just going to move forward four frames so you can hit the period key on your keyboard four times and set the scale to one one zero and then move four frames forward and set it back to 100. okay so we'll have a quick pop in animation and what's and you can go ahead and copy the animation and paste it on all of these text layers select them all right click click on paste attributes and we're going to make sure we uncheck the position and only select the scale click on paste and now if you play the animation and what's really interesting is that for yeah you can create all sorts of animations so for example over here we can also do a keyframe on position uh, so yeah that's just the basics of how you can uh, create captions inside of hitfilm 
I hope this video is helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.